not solo. No. We are just about nine miles from downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tennessee Titans and the New York Giants. Time Panther Graham Gano has his set for his start as we are underway for MetLife Stadium. And that one will bounce out of the back. So we will start here at the 25. Second down. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Third down, it's Willis. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Darnay Holmes able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. On the return, it's James. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 45. They'll start out on the ground in Saquon Barkley. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. In motion left goes a tight end. Second down, here's Barkley again. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. Uses the stiff arm, and he's got this down to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll try to right side here. Barkley, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Looking to throw. Jones, little out route here, complete to Shepard. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 24-yard line. 
A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. A first down carry for Barkley. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. This will be play number nine in the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Back to throw, Jones. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. He didn't like what he saw downfield, decided his best course of action was to take off and run. And that ended up being a gamble that did not pay off for him. Now they would have to gamble again if they want to keep this series going. We're scoreless after one. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with fourth down and one. the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. An extra point try good by Godot. And it's now a 7-0 game. Godot now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker Jalen Smith. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Gano the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Let's go now. First and 10 now. Willis and the Titans at their 25-yard line. Willis to try again after the pick six. He's got the hook up with Conley. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Two yards the gain on the keeper and it's second down. Now Willis. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Willis on first and 10. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. I met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 
Another 18-yard gain. They had 18 on the previous snap as well. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Come on, come Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Henry. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Second down throw coming by Willis. And a big loss here as he's taken down. That'll be a big loss on the play there. An absolute disaster, really. Now from way back there after the sack. It's third and goal, a long third and goal. Willis on third and goal. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked by Julian Love. And the Giants will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watch 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm -hmm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Jones on third and two. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack, second and 19. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Shepard. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now Jones. Throwing to start the drive. That's complete left side to Shepard. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. 
Running left, it's Barkley. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. And he will have a Giants first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. They'll run it again with Barkley. Always oh, got some breathing room. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 54 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's complete to Shepard. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard. 43 yards. And the Giants have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point try, good by Godot. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Godot now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Play action. Willis. He's going to go deep for Conley. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And it's up to the deep ball there. They didn't get it. But boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent size deficit, but not one. Willis takes a hit and the ball is free. And they're already in the red zone. 